believe it or not. Wait, what did you say? You lost me there. I, I've been keeping a lot of notes oh, on, on my option trades, yeah. And um, what I do is when I take a trade, I put down what I bought it for, and then I put in the column your your um, dream target, Okay. and then what I wind up selling, selling it for. So what I've been doing is I'll take, like I took target, Okay. And I put in a sell order. Like I, as soon as I buy it, I find out what I buy it for, and then I I put a hundred percent sell order in, and so then at least the sell order's in there in case it pops up or down like that. You mean the first and day, then, or what do you mean? Yeah, the first day. So and if then it hits a hundred percent the first day, you're to. out. It's pretty much. Yeah. Okay. If I hit a hundred percent, I'm done. Okay. So actually, good. with Target, I wound up getting out the second day. I don't know if you remember me telling you that I did. I I don't have a lot of faith in calls. Yeah. Like I don't mind taking one for a day or two, <laughs> but after that, I don't. Except for Nvidia, which was too expensive for me I at this know, juncture. I know that was one of those ones where I think if you had a little bit more in your account, you probably would have done like one of them. Like the beginning yes. ones were not that bad, but as it kept going, then they kept getting crazier and crazier and crazier. Yes, I mean it was eighteen dollars, and I was like, uh, like I, I just. Now, you're going to be able to get to that point to do them. Like, there was one that was around 14 or 15 or something. Like, you're going to get to that point where you can do them when they're when they're yeah. at that point. At least you've stuck to your guns as far as your risk. Because, honestly, there are some people that did that that had absolutely no business doing that. Now, while the trades yeah. worked, I know that if the trades hadn't worked, those people would have been very upset. But they have nothing to blame. Oh, no blame for themselves. They had to the risk. If, at the time when my account, I got it from fifteen hundred to three thousand, right? Yeah. So one Nvidia that didn't work would have probably almost wiped me out, yeah, and then exactly. that would that would have played with my psyche, because exactly. we did, the week before March the fifth, I did take a a Meta one, and the Meta at one did not work. Yeah. It was well, I forget, and but that's okay. I just I watched it like not work, and I was. I was good with it. Like that's, I'm I'm at such a nice, comfortable point in my trading, because I'm only taking one contract and I only juggle three to four trades at a pop. Oh, that's good. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I so like I, your hundred percent idea the first day, though. Remind me, I can mention that to people in the room. That's yeah. that's that's that would be very helpful for new people or beginners. I think yep. that's, and then you just set it and forget it because if you could make that much that quick, boom, I'll call another trade. I'm calling lots of trades. Right. Like, and BA and Tesla is proof of that. So, yeah. and, and that's, and that's what I figured. And, and the other thing is if, if it's close on day two or three, or if it rallies back day two and it goes day three, it might not make you the hundred percent, but that's when I go back in and I evaluate my price. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, so then I'll adjust it down. Yeah. You know. Well, now, did and you do the Tesla that's expiring today? I'm out of that already. Yeah, I am too, but I got out of that too soon, and uh, what are you going to do? Again, I could have I could have made more than double in that. I think I got a. I mean, you can't hold everything. You just can't. You can't, right. you know, and I'm holding other stuff, so it's sort of like you kind of got to pick and choose what you really think is going to keep going, and it, again... Some things are going up, some things are going down, and it's kind of crazy. I had two Teslas that expired today. One was in 180 put, yeah. which I got out 100% in. Yeah. And the other one was the 175 put, which I probably got out 75%. So I had really good luck with yeah, you Teslas. Might have done the Apple one. Than me in that one, because I think I got out of that before that, because that was, that was just, it, it just, I knew it would go, but then by whatever day it was, Friday or Monday, I was just like, gosh darn it. Because some of these things just kind of, but they're all going. They're all going. I mean, they are. They so. are going. <laughs> some of them, like even even Apple, Apple stayed around 170, yeah. but it's not going anywhere. Yeah. So I still have some cents left on the one that's going to expire today. It's like we're 20 cents. It could go more in the next two hours. Yeah. I have, and look at the market. I, have, I mean, look at the market today. Now that was funny about the trade I sent out. Then, so I mean, luckily you mentioned that. I would. I'm, I mean, I had so much struggling. I got my charts fixed, 
Anyways, <laughs> was there really a strike at that price? Yes. I didn't even go it's back. The strikes and look. Uh, when I go into my account, the strikes go like f down to like you know zero. Oh, you yeah, know what I, mean? I know. Same thing, but sometimes there's no volume. There's no volume right. in it. Was there volume in that one? You know what? I didn't check. I just said if I buy this, and it was three cents, and I'm like, there's nobody that could have seen that strike and no, really. I'm thought glad you didn't here. do that. I'm glad you didn't do that. And the numbers didn't match up with the with the targets either. So obviously, right. Put two and two together, but I got it out fast enough. Now, did you do that? I did the cues. I haven't done the market in ages. I know, me neither. I and I and I said, you know what? Okay. I'm doing it. Yeah, I bought it at uh, one contract of a 435 put, and I bought it for 473. I could get out of it today, but I'm gonna let that ride. I would. But I what, would wait and see. You can make a decision closer to the close today, in case we tank. Yeah. Just in case we right. tank or something. Who knows? Who knows? You can watch. But the one I'm interested in really is Microsoft because, you know, Microsoft <laughs> is one of those stocks that people love. Yeah. So it gets sold off today and rebought on Monday. So. Yeah. I could even well, sell it now. Well, some people emailed me. They, they got out of that. Again, I said that was a wild card play. It and is. And, again, you could have you could have been out of that. Again, I wouldn't necess I wouldn't hold everything. I wouldn't hold everything no. for the weekend. You know, because, again, I'll call more trades next week. So, And it's been a good week. It's been a good week. Now, again, you were – some people didn't do the NVIDIAs the right. other week. And then – and, and then they regretted them. So, I mean, again, we were just – we were doing a lot of those. But – Again, I, f I still feel like I'm doing less trades now than I was before. But then some days, like today, I'm like, gosh, I could have done five more things. I, I know. Done a couple. And, then I, and, then and I'm I don't like, no, scatter you myself know? too thin because, like you always say, you look at reversal times. Yeah. So I take my little four stocks and I look at reversal times. Yeah, you know? that's and, a great and, idea. That's yeah. A great idea. And Amazon was the other call last week that expired last Friday that I got out of. And I got out of that one 100%. Terrific. The 175 good. calls. So now you're going into, you know, again, if you got out of everything right now, you're putting, you're up in everything then right now. Uh, you know what? I think Tesla might be, yeah, if I got out of Tesla that expires 322, I would almost be break even because okay. it, it went up and went down. So I'm, hold, I'm holding Tesla and I'm holding the BAs. I have one that expires the 22nd and one that expires the 28th. And I actually have this, sometimes you call a strike. But when I go to take it, it's up by like say it was at one eighty two fifty. So I take the strike for one eighty two fifty. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I might pay a little more, but already it's in the money. Yeah. So I have one one eighty two fifty for three twenty two and one eighty two fifty for three twenty eight. I'm holding those. I'm holding the Tesla, and I'm gonna hold the Qs. The only one I might sell is the Microsoft because I put it so at eleven dollars it would be a hundred percent, and right now it's at nine. So yeah, the, and and, that, and yeah. that's a pretty good day. And and also, um, again, I wouldn't hold everything, and but I would yeah. definitely definitely be in some BAs. I would definitely definitely yes. because I think we're gonna get out one BAs morning. BAs has cues. I think that, that and the mm -hmm. Tesla. I think you know yeah. BA is not going anywhere. I mean, no. All the news is horrible. I, mean, I haven't even been able to keep up with the news. I seriously have uh -huh. been so busy, and then I'll, I've been so I haven't even been able to keep up with the news with Tesla or Boeing. <laughs> <laughs> no, like you're and telling I, me it, stuff. You send me an article, and then I'm quickly scanning it because I'm like, well, you know, I mean, I, I'm doing what I can to keep up with things because I've been so busy. But the yep. things are going, like we said. I mean, they are. So yeah, so Microsoft, I think I it was probably the only one I'll get out at the end of the day. Uh, a Google nice was trade. It's a nice trade yeah. to book on a Friday. And Google was a bust, and Apple's pretty Google's for today's bust. pretty much yeah. a bust. But you know what? I didn't. It wasn't that expensive when I bought it, so I can watch it and and let it go because I've had so much success with the others. So when I last talked to you, I was up to three thousand, and now I'm almost up to fifty two hundred. That's fabulous. That's great. Yeah, yeah, I'm just really happy, and I, you know, and I just, you know, it, it's terrible when I tell Ben like I was telling him about something I was up. He goes, "Well, you're up enough. Why don't you get out?" And I'm like. It's only the first day. Like, just chill. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. It's o'clock in the morning. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, I'm calling things out a little bit more now because I'm like, the prices of these are not bad to take out no. a little bit. So no, I'm like, I may as well just give by myself the extra time right now. It's not yeah, like, like you're crazy. You know? 
I love the BA till 328. That's and even next Friday, it just it just kind of takes the pressure off, exactly, you know? Exactly, exactly. And I've been doing one contract, and I think like and I said, maybe after the next earning season, which is April, right? Starts in April, I will keep this up, and then maybe at the six month mark. I can reevaluate my risk, risk even with you, and you could say, you know, maybe I could take two contracts, or maybe I should buy a more expensive. I think if one. you get the account up to ten grand, like double where you're at right now, you could do that. Whatever that is, okay. whether it's April, whether it's you know May first, if it's in two weeks, you get up in the morning and BAs at one seventy five. You you should figure oh out gosh. what are all those trades going to be worth. How many total BAs do you have right now in different strikes? I just have one contract. Oh, you only have one contract. Strike, yeah, just one. So then yep. you didn't do anything out till three twenty two or three twenty eight. I do. I have one BA. It's actually one eighty two fifty to three twenty two, and one BA one eighty two fifty to three twenty eight. Okay, then you have two. Then you do have two. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. And I have one Tesla for next week. But I'm saying if and that's down. You know, on Monday, eight, nine, ten dollars any morning. Oh my any gosh, I get out of both of them because you're going to call another one most more than likely. Yeah. So, but I'm saying if any of those are down around in the set in the one seventies, those those are going to yeah. be two nice trades. You know. Really, yes. You know. And they have been. I mean, even Tesla. Tesla's been at a stuck point for a while, and then yesterday it went, and I, I it know. was funny because. I had to go to a funeral yesterday, but I, I looked at the numbers in the morning. I went, oh, look, Tesla's down a couple of bucks. It's gapping down. And then I just was going into mass, and you oh, called no. the Tesla. I did it. I did it before I went in. Oh, my God, how funny. <laughs> well, God wants you to make money, so it's okay. He does. You don't he does. Have I have some very lofty goals. Yeah, so I'm really excited. I'm really and, – and I like the way, like, you know, you say it's all about the risk, but – I just like the way that I'm not biting off more than I can chew, and I, I tend to get, I tend to get like carried away. So just the carried fact that I'm carried away holding or carried away with too many contracts. No, just carried away like oh, I'll, you'll call five trades. Oh, I'll take two contracts of everything, and yeah. I just find that I just I reel myself in a little bit, and I just say okay, I just got to be able to manage, and I look at prices, and even the that's why I didn't even get worried about the Apple from last week because. It meandered around 170. I said, you know, I could wake up one morning. But again, that's going to go. It's going to go now. I know that's going to go too. So again, you know, that's why I'm I'm looking at some of these things with the timing, and I'm, and then I'm looking at the prices of it, trying to because again, stuff is going. It yes. really is going the way that I'm seeing it's going to go, whether it's up or down. It's just some things. Maybe again, the market was in a range. It was in a very tight range this week. But I think. I think we're going to get some play through here. I, I don't I don't think it lasts for weeks and weeks and weeks, but who knows? But, I mean, we're getting a little bit of follow through today, and we could get it into Monday, so we'll see. We'll see. And you never know with this crazy world what's going to happen over the weekend, so I that's know. for sure. That's that's definitely, definitely true. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad so, you're doing great. The one guy yes. I, I did the email about, I don't know if you saw it, Brian, he yes. filmed a bits and pieces. He just joined two weeks ago, and he's made seven grand. Now, that was before today. But he's right. blind. I told you about him. Yeah, I saw, his, I saw his story. What a great story. I mean, I, I remember telling my parents about him when he did the class. And right. my parents were like, this is unbelievable. I'm like, he's going to listen to the class. You know, it's just like, and and again, he, he somehow has all these things on his computer, which reads emails and stuff now. Everything's wow. electronic. But the fact that he can do it, I'm just like, you know. That means anybody can do it, right? I mean, the people just... that are determined that want to do it, again, he's not about piggy targets. He, right. You know what I mean? He takes what he can afford, and he gets out when he's up. You know what Has I mean? he ever traded before? Because I was finding that the people that have traded me. other yeah. systems before, I think they have the most trouble. Wait, say I that really again? Do. I think people that have learned other systems before yours always have trouble because what they wind up doing is they, they smush the different things they've learned together well that's you know? true yeah now he did trade before he met me um and he does sometimes ask me questions about things but so far so good so far so good with okay. him. but but that's a I, I hate to make a generalization because again there's people that knew that don't know how to press the buttons right and then right. there's people that have been the problem with people that have been around a long time that have been trading i'm talking 10 15 20 35 years is that they just you know they just want to stay on top of what they're doing even if they know it doesn't work it doesn't work but they're so mentally configured to looking at a chart a certain way 
Yeah. Like, like again, the, it's so easy when, when we make money in these options because all we're doing is trading momentum. That's it. Everybody right. wants to worry about this thing, that thing, the delta, the blah, blah, blah. It's, it, right. it's, if, it, if it drops <laughs> and we're, we bought a put, it's going to go. Do you know what I mean? That's like, right. And that's like that's literally, it's as simple as that. So many people are looking at so many other things that have nothing to do with anything at all with the gap. Do you know what I mean? Right. Because it's really Yeah, I do. Momentum. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. So... So yes, yeah, so I'm I'm really I'm really happy and and I'm I'm really keeping really like all I'm following my own rules and, and it's it's working. So wonderful! <laughs> I see your cute little St. Patrick's Day sweatshirt. Oh yeah, Buffalo! Yes, <laughs> we have a big we have a big parade up here too. So on, on Sunday, because there was a lot of Irish. It's funny, New York City and the, my home city of Elizabeth, New Jersey, it's a lot like Buffalo. There's a lot of different ethnic neighborhoods all oh, around. That's so. great. That's yeah, wonderful. yeah. Yeah, so well, it should be nice weather. Yeah, I hope so. You know, you never know at Buffalo. You could work, walk, up, wake up one morning and you have snow. So after we had a sixty degree day last Friday, mm -hmm. and this Friday's cold and rainy. So you know, but it is March. That's okay. That's okay. And well, I have some flowers March. already blooming. So, and I saw two robins yesterday. So I, I was saw, like, keep really? sending me your bird pictures. I love them. I'm gonna have to do some kind yeah. of bird special where or something where everybody sends their pictures in because that. It's, it's people like birds. It's cute to see yes. other people's pictures in there, what they're having their backyard. I got into it during COVID because I just love when they, when they, you hear the birds sing in the morning, it just kind of elevates you. You know what I mean? You just, it I just, definitely it just agree. sounds beautiful. And I'm trying to attract bluebirds and I'm trying to attract Orioles. That's my next Well, how do you do? Goal. You have to put out food. Orioles food? is dried worms and, and um, uh, uh, jelly. They like sweet. So I have a special feeder for that, which I'm going to set up. And then I did have hummingbirds last summer because we have these wow. uh, flowers around a tree. And I actually saw one go in and out. I'm like, and I, I didn't even set up for one. So, yeah, we have a, I have a lot of birds back here, and I, and I love it, you know. Well, so. do you have a lot of trees? Yes, I have a lot of trees. Like we're on, we're on a couple of acres, mm -hmm. and and we're uh, the, behind us is ten acres of state land. So we have a lot of deer. We have foxes. We have wild turkeys. Oh my god! So you we should send me a picture different. of a fox. I'd love to see that. Yeah, well, I don't know if I'd get close enough. <laughs> well, no, that's why you got to set up one of those cameras. Oh, like GoPro! Those cameras, I know. You do that. I bet you catch a lot of things at night. You catch the deer. You would oh, see a yeah. lot of stuff. Skunks. Well, you know what's funny is that um. Well, I, when I take the dog out in the morning, it's it, sometimes it's pitch black, and I'll have a, this really bright flashlight, and we walk we walk back there, and and the flashlight will catch the deer's eyes, and they glow green. It's like the oh creepiest my God, thing. You better be careful. Yeah. Oh no, the deer are fine. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. But I always said, you know, if there was ever a famine, I could just get a rifle and I'd have a food oh, supply. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, now how do you stop the squirrels before from eating? Oh uh, well, I told you special. Stuff. There's special feeders mm -hmm. that when the bird stands on it, it close. Uh, they can eat, but if a squirrel does, they it closes the door because they're too heavy. Okay. And then the other thing is, you get the seeds that are made with red pepper, because what I didn't know is birds don't have uh, a sense of smell, mm -hmm. and so therefore they can't taste spicy things. They have no sense of taste. Okay. But, but squirrels do, and deer do, so they stay away from the hot pepper seeds because it'll burn oh, the, their mouth. yeah. Yeah, so like that's what your parents can do, and that's what I've done. My parents have yeah. had a massive problem with squirrels and also chipmunks. The chipmunks eat everything up, they dig holes, they were even yes. eating at the at the rug on the out, on the back porch, I mean, and, and oh, wow. clawing <laughs> at it, like, and, and again, they don't want to put out poison and stuff, because then they, you know, they don't want to do that. No, so but if they get the spicy, the, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll screenshot a picture of the bag of the, the seeds that I have, yeah. and if they get something like that, the squirrels and the chipmunks, they don't, they won't eat it. Interesting. So, and, and you can find the the bird feeders on Amazon, the ones that are squirrel proof. Yeah. Well, so. keep sending me your bird pictures. I will. I will. I hope I keep making money trading. Money. Yes. Oh, I will. And I would, I, will. Your, I would say if you get up to ten grand, you could you could bump it up. Whatever, whatever that okay. is, you know. Okay. Because that's funny. All right. Funny. Yeah. So, I, my, just my question is, um, you know, and I'll figure it out by. You know, three o'clock, three thirty. If I'm getting out of Microsoft. Yeah, I just got my charts back up before I messaged oh my you. Gosh, so how I'm off. gonna 
look at everything now and okay. we'll just see where I don't think anything tr crazy is going to change between now and four, but sometimes we get that bounce and that hard yep. bounce and it makes a telly thing like it did the other day. So I don't, I don't know here, but I need to turn uh, the TV on. I just, I didn't, I didn't have the TV on all day. And then I wanted to see what was going on with the new,